What is going on guys? Espresso Shaco here, and today I want to use Diggersby. Diggersby. It gets huge power. Uh, ideally, I get to Dynamax this thing and take advantage of Max Quake, Max Airstream, and Max Strike, with those last two being a means of controlling the speed, either boosting my own or reducing my opponent's. It's a nice thing because I can take advantage of Max Strike, Max Strike having stab off of Diggersby, and Max Airstream is nice because if I run into a Ghost type, I at least have a means of hitting it and getting my speed boost. Uh, we have Tangela on here as Redirection. It's an interesting Pokemon to say the least. It gets a moderately decent attacks to Erds. I just want to name off both of its worst stats. It gets a very good defense stat, and its special attack is pretty good too. Um, the nice thing is, is Tangela used to be considered a fully evolved Pokemon prior to Gen 4, and now, like Dusclops, it gets to enjoy the benefits of Eviolite. Uh, is it a good redirector? Eh, kind of. It's definitely interesting to say the least. I don't necessarily care for Rage Powder uh, compared to Follow Me because Safety Goggles can ignore it, and I don't think it works on Grass types. But the nice thing is, is Tangela can switch in and potentially absorb a Sleep Powder because Grass types are unaffected by Sleep Powder, Sun Spore, Poison Powder. You get the idea. We have Galarian Moltres as a potential uh, Dynamax candidate, uh, as opposed to Diggersby. Uh, we can set up with Nasty Plot and then get some speed with a Max Airstream off of Hurricane or lower my opponent's uh, special defense with Max Darkness. We have Tapu Fini, which is overall a great support mon. Misty Terrain will protect Diggersby from uh, getting a status condition, especially if Diggersby ends up using its Slumberry. We have Incineroar uh, for Snarl support and Fake Out. We also have will o -Wisp because some physical mons on, uh, out there could potentially provide trouble for this team, so we do have will o -Wisp to give them a nice little present. And finally, we have Electivire. I don't really know why I put Electivire, but I wanted a good Electric type, and well, it's kind of debatable if Electivire is good or not, but here we are with a physical Electric type. We have Wild Charge because Celesteela is a problem uh, for my team, and ideally if I get into a situation where I can max and use Max Lightning, that should be good. Uh, we have Ice Punch for uh, opposing flying types, uh, mainly other Moltres. Um, on the off chance that we're in a situation where we're forced to deal with Landorus and Electivire luckily doesn't have the Intimidate drop, which I realize as I'm saying this how unlikely that is, at least I have Ice Punch for the four times weakness. And finally, Darkest Lariat is mainly just dark coverage. So overall, that's the team. I'm excited to use it and uh, let's jump on into some battles and begin the campaign to entertain. Let's see what I can do with this team. And hopefully this isn't a how to blow your rating 101 episode. <laughs> Ooh, there's a thought. How to blow your rating 101. Um, yeah, all right. So I've wanted to try out Diggersby. So here we are, we have Diggersby. Our first opponent has a team with Alolan Marowak. Blastoise, Rillaboom, Togekiss, which I haven't seen one of those in a while, um, Metagross, and Glarian Moltres. So, Electivire actually kind of looks not too bad here. Um, I gotta be weary of the Rillaboom, but I have Ice Punch on Electivire for Rillaboom and Venusaur, which, that's nice, because one of those two things is on my screen. Um, I got Wild Charge for Blastoise, I got Wild Charge for Togekiss, I got Wild Charge for Galarian Moltres, and I even have Darkest Lariat for Metagross. So that one was more of a, I don't know what to put on this thing. So... Maybe I leave Tangela and Electivire? Maybe I bring Galarian Moltres in the back? And... Hmm... Diggersby's a little scared of the Rilla, Rillaboom, but we've got Tapu Finny. Yeah, Tapu Finny doesn't like that either. Uh, we have Incineroar, and I don't see any... I don't see anything that overly um, massacres both Incineroar and Moltres if they're in the back, so let's try this out. Um, Electivire is something that I've wanted to try out too, but uh, 
I originally built this team with Diggers B in mind. Electivire was kind of an afterthought. <laughs> uh, Tangle is kind of cool. It's got access to the Eviolite. It's got a really good defense, and while its special defense is very much to be desired, uh, it might be able to do some fun things. So... Yeah, okay, um, Togekiss and Marowak, hmm, I'm assuming they're Lightning Rod on the Marowak, so I think maybe, I think maybe we can go for a Darkest Lariat in the Marowak here, um, Worst case scenario, Togekiss goes for follow me, but I'm expecting Togekiss to, uh, to Dynamax. So, let's try this. Let's try out Electivire. Um, I do have Max Hailstorm for Togekiss, so if they go for follow me, I can go Hailstorm into Togekiss next turn. And Tangela could go for a Rage Powder. I'm Life Orb on Electivire, so this could be interesting. Or it could be a complete train wreck, but uh, they are maxing. The question is, is who is it? Is it Marowak or is it um, Togekiss? If it's Togekiss, that's very good for a luck. Yeah, it's Marowak. Okay. So I'm expecting maybe a follow me into Togekiss. It's weird because Togekiss is so versatile. Um, wasn't really sure what to expect here, but here we are. Ally Switch. Okay. Togekiss gets Ally Switch. I didn't know this. Um, I did know about Marowak getting it, but that's gross. That is really gross. Hmm. Well, I have Galarian Moltres in the back. If I out or outlast uh, Marowak with Electivire, I could be in a good spot. Um, Tangle is going to eat that up, no problem. So, do I think they go for another ally switch, or do I think they go for follow me? Hmm. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I think maybe we bring in Incineroar here, and I think... I think we go for another attempt at a Max Darkness, because I... No, I think they might... I think they might go for Follow Me. Let's go for the Hailstorm into Togekiss. Um, Marowak doesn't like an attack drop from Incineroar, and Tangela has Regenerator, so I'll get some HP back. Um, and plus I can take advantage of but, well, I went for Hailstorm, so I'm going to get rid of that sun. So Incineroar is not going to really appreciate that. Helping hand. Okay. So at least I get the Hailstorm into Togekiss. Question is, is, is this Electivire taking it? I'm going to assume yes. We don't pick up the KO on Togekiss, but if it's very... It's not. Okay. Um... Ooh, there's safety goggles that might... Ooh, Incineroar. That's not good. That said, I can bring in Tangela now. Warm Moltres. This is their last turn at Dynamax. So... Hmm. Okay, so... Marowak's gonna take a little bit of sand damage. Um... Do I want Tangela or do I want Moltres? Um, I do have Leech Seed, which could be nice if I get that. Um, I'm expecting to be maybe faster than Marowak too, so I know Electivire is for sure. Uh, there's Rilla. Yeah, I can't Rage Powder and redirect Grassy Terrain or Grassy Glide away, but I could Leech Seed that Marowak. 
Yeah, I could. I, I think I want a leech seed. Or do I think they're gonna fake out Tangela? I'll leech seed, and then that way I can uh, go for the uh, Hailstorm into Rillaboom. They might even just protect, which I'm okay with. Very nice. Okay, so they might go for Tangela. Um, the question is, is can I live this? It's at minus one. I know Electivire probably can't live a uh, Grassy Glide, but that's all right. I was right about Tangela being faster, which is good. Fantastic. All right. Tangela's gonna. Tangela's gonna appreciate that. Um. Now, I think I can get a free turn, uh, or a free a free switch into Moltres with uh, Tangela here and protect Electivire. Because I don't expect them to double into it. And Moltres threatens Rillaboom, so... The only thing is, is what do they have in the back? Is it Moltres or is it Metagross? If it's Metagross, I'm okay if I get a nasty plot. But if it's Moltres, things are a little bit more problematic. I think we'll bring in Moltres here. Um, and I'm assuming they Grassy Glide into Electivire. Because what I want them to do, ideally, is... Grassy Glide, Electivire next turn, and go for a Nasty Plot. Ooh, they're going to withdraw Villaboom, okay. Who is it? Ooh, it's Blastoise, okay. Huh. So what does, a, or what does Marowak do here? Oh, they go for Rock Slide. That could be bad. Not as bad as it could have been. Okay. Um, without Shell Smash, Blastoise shouldn't outspeed my Electivire. So maybe I go... Maybe I go Darkest Lariat into Marowak. Although I don't want to necessarily lose my Leech Seed. But I don't want Lightning Rod pulling away. Um, I don't want Lightning Rod pulling away Wild Charge because I think I gotta do something about this Blastoise. I'm gonna go Darkest Lariat and Blastoise here with the idea being that um, they switch out. Uh, Marowak. They protect with um, Blastoise. That's okay. I'm going to get a little bit of damage into Rillaboom. Uh, Rillaboom's probably going to try to... Hmm. Maybe Rillaboom goes for Grassy Glide or Fagot into Electivire and Blastoise Shell Smashes. But but maybe I go fiery wrath here and I still attempt the wild charge into Blastoise because I'm assuming that thing has either white herb or focus sash. Okay, we lose Lotte Bar. That's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to get my Fiery Wrath off. And we have Tangela, so... Got rid of Rillaboom. That's good. That's good. Um, Blizzard. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the crit probably did not matter there. Ooh. Oh, gross. Um...
Man, that's misfortunate. Um, yeah, I was expecting Shell Smash. Ooh, man. And then, man, that's... That is by far not good. Um, the worst part here is I don't even have a means to deal with this Marowak now. So... Yeah, man, can Tangela live this? Probably not. Oh, Tangela lived it. Um, okay. There's no way I live the, the Flare Blitz that comes afterwards, but hey. Tangela picked up a KO. Was not expecting that. Um, yeah, maybe I could have subbed in... Maybe I should have subbed in Tangela for Electivire or went Protect. It wasn't a terrible match, that's for sure. Um, it does suck about the outcome, but this was the first test match with this team. So let's see what we can get for some more matches. Okay, we've got our first opponent. Let's see. Okay, they have Blastoise, they have Clashcure, they have Rillaboom, they have Incineroar, they have Indeedy, and they have Dusclops. So a little bit more solid than what I have for a team, but uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do with uh, Diggersby here, or Electivire. Actually, Electivire might be better than Diggersby for this one. Um, yeah. Do I expect this to be Shell Smash Blastoise, or do I expect it to be Support Blastoise? I mean, they have Indeedy, so I'm going to assume it's probably... I assume it's probably uh, Shell Smash Blastoise. Um, hmm. I think we bring Electivire in here. I think we bring Tangela just to be on the safe side. If they lead um, Electivire, or er, if they lead Indeedy Blastoise, what I want to do is I want to Darkest Lariat Indeedy. Um. Top of the Finny might not be too bad, but uh, I do got to be weary of that Rillaboom. Maybe I bring Moltres, and let's bring Incineroar. Let's bring Incineroar. I'm expecting Indeedee and something to be the lead. Uh, probably Blastoise. Could even be Clastrier. Could even be Dusclops to set up Trick Room, which that could be very nasty if they set up Trick Room that way. Um, let's see. Blastoise and Dee. Nice. Okay. So, I have Darkest Lariat on Electivire, and I think we are going to take a crack at it. I also think that Indeedy might not have um, or might have a Focus Sash, but on the off chance, we're gonna go for a Giga Drain into Blastoise. Um, yeah, there's the follow me. So at least Tangela and uh, Electivire are gonna double into uh, Indeedy. So let's see what this dark, the animation for that is priceless. Um, there's the Focus Sash, we're gonna KO. So, there's the Shell Smash. We know it's not uh, Focus Smash because Indeedy has that. I think we maybe Rage Powder and Max Lightning? I think that might be the idea here. Uh, if they have Dusclops, that could be bad though too because they can possibly ally switch with Dusclops. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's Dusclops there, and I don't like the idea of potentially taking a... Uh, I don't like the idea of potentially taking a uh, Intimidate drop-off Incineroar if I Dynamax. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think Moltres puts a lot of pressure on Dusclops. Um... I'm going to gamble here, and I'm going to assume they ally switch. 
And I'm going to... I'm going to Rage Powder with, uh, with Tangela. So do they ally switch, or did I just completely blow that? I completely blew that. Um, okay. Not good. Really not good. We just lost Electivire to a plus two Water Stout. And they're just going to Nightshade Tangela. Okay. Well, at least we know they have, um, at least we know they have, uh, that. Yeah. Okay, I think, I think we Dynamax, I think we Max Darkness, and I think, I think we Protect Tangla here. Um... I don't see them giving up uh, access to Water Spell, especially where they've got almost all their HP. And the nice thing is, is if they ally switch, they ally switch right into a Max Darkness, and if they don't, well, they might give me my Berserk boost off of Water Spell. And that should at least for sure get rid of Blastoise. I'm assuming Glastrier is in the back, and I'm assuming maybe this is where Truck Room comes out. Yeah, I'm assuming Trick Room comes out here, and I'm assuming they Water Spout. Not quite enough to give me my Berserk boost, either. Um, that said, we'll, uh, we'll nail Blastoise here with the Max Darkness. Um, now, here's the problem. Dusclops is able to... Oh, now they give me my Berserk boost. Um, Dusclops is able to uh, KO Tangla from this range, and Glastrier could be really bad for me. Speaking of which, there's Glastrier. Okay. They haven't set Trick Room, though. So... I think we can Max Darkness Dusclops, and I think we can Rage Powder with Tangela. Um, Glastrier is probably the faster of the two. I think Dusclops might be slower than Glastrier. Uh, if they're going for Trick Room, Dusclops is going to have negative priority. So, ideally, I KO with a plus one uh, Max Darkness. If I can actually talk, um, that would be nice. Content requir requires words. Apparently my brain is telling me it doesn't. So... How much is this gonna do? How much is this gonna do? Good. That's what I want to see. Um, I have Incineroar in the back, which can uh, intimidate Glastrier. And I can, I can will o wisp it, because this is just going to put Glastrier back to neutral by subbing in. So I would like to burn this thing and <laughs> critical hit into Tangla. Okay, um, that's kind of funny actually. Um, yeah, we're gonna undo this. I doubt they're Lumberry. So, I think we can go Will-O-Wisp here. We gotta land it, though. We definitely have to land this. They're at minus one special defense. So, I think, all things considered... I think Moltres hits this really, really hard to begin with. Actually, you know what? No. I think... I think we still max darkness, but I think we flare blitz because Incineroar is going to be faster regardless, and they're only at neutral attack. I think that's the better play. Uh, the only thing is, is if they max guard. Max guard could be bad, but yeah, there's no max guard here. Um, because I think two flare blitzes should be enough with Incineroar. Oh, it's going to be close. It's 
gonna be close. Hailstorm into Moltres. Okay, they're at plus one. They did not, they didn't get a weakness policy, so they're probably assault vested. Maybe I should have went for the burn, but at the same time. At the same time, I think I think we can probably get it from this range. It's gonna be extremely close, but I think I think we can get it. I think. Oh no. Oh, oh good, good, good. It ain't it. It ain't it. Oh, I thought there was a little sliver there. Um, oh, man. That was... Uh, <laughs> that was not how I was expecting that to go. Uh, but anyways, go game to my opponent. Uh, Fangla. It pulled me back from a very terrible situation. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I don't think this team is good, but uh, I'm going to torture myself some more and... Uh, Let's see what we can get from more opponents. Okay, let's look for another opponent. And so far, this has been a how to blow your rating, because I am losing a lot of these matches. Um, and they are not pretty. Um, a lot of it's RNG. And while I don't mind showing the occasional loss, I do not like um, when it's really, really bad or really hacks related and that last one was hacks related um <clears throat> and just bad. um so anyways like i said this is not a good team um so we have galarian moltres alagazam uh blasphon i think that's how you say it the ultra beast that blows up its own head um class career indeedy and heatran for once i think diggersby could be interesting uh, with this matchup. I think we can lead Diggersby. I think we can lead... I think we can lead Moltres. Alakazam is kind of fast, though. Um... I don't have to worry about priority because I don't have any priority. Um, spending force could be bad. I think we'll bring Finny in the back for that Heatran, and I think I think we bring Incineroar in the back as well. Um, yeah, I don't know what uh, blah, blah. We're just going to call it the Clown because uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, I don't know what the Clown can do aside from using Mind Blown. I know it's really glassy, so I doubt Focus Sash because of mind blow, uh, mind blown, taking so much. Uh, this looks like double expanding force, by the way, so I'm not uh, letting that happen. And I think we fiery wrath. I think we fiery wrath here and uh, bring in Vinny. don't think Diggersby sticks around for this one. Or, or, or no, we don't bring Incineroar uh, in right now. Um, because Tapu Finny does not like, um, Tapu Finny does not like uh, having to deal with, or not Tapu Finny, uh, why am I saying Finny? Uh, Incineroar can't fake out. So it would be more of a bada, -bi bada bing bada boom, but like, no expanding force for you, but that's it, because then I would have to get rid of the Psychic Terrain the following turn. Um, yeah, I assume they just double, uh, double expanding force, but now it's gonna remove the fact that it's spread. I mean, Diggersby would have been the only one taking this anyways. Yeah, there's Dazzling Gleam. That's rather bold, hitting... Uh, going for in the face of a Moltres. Uh, no, follow me off the Indeedy. Heh, <laughs> Indeedy flinched. Okay, um... I think we're gonna calm mind with Finny, and I think we're gonna, uh, Fiery Wrath again. Alakazam will definitely go down. And if Alakazam goes for Dazzling Gleam again, 
at least I get my Berserk boost. Ooh, hope I can't. Uh, Moltres might not let this. Not from this range, maybe. Never mind. We lived it. Uh, Finny has... Finny's a little bit above half, so it's far from getting its uh, Wikiberry, but at least we get rid of Alakazam. And I kind of want to max Diggersby, because I built this team with the sole intention of bringing Diggersby. So maybe I might be able to max Diggersby for once. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of regretting the fact that I don't have leftovers on Finny. The Wikiberry is kind of scary. Oh, there's this thing. A clown. Um, let's go Spire. Uh, muddy Water would have been really nice here. Yeah, Muddy Water would have been really nice, but... Um, <sighs> it is what it is. Um, well, Fiery Wrath and Scald. Maybe Energy Balls? Finny? I think it gets Energy Ball. It definitely gets Shadow Ball. Um, I'm assuming Mind Blown goes off and we lose... Um, Pretty sure we lose, uh, well, for fact, we lose Moltres. Um, Finny might live because of the Calm Mind boost. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, trick. Thank you so much for that. Because I'm locked into Scald, and I want it Scald. <laughs> um... Cool. I wish you went trick into Moltres, because I would have loved to have my uh, fiery rafts coming off at higher speed, but hey. Sucks about my wiki berry, but uh, there's Heatran. Neither of us have used our Dynamax yet either, by the way. Um, so this is uh, this is <laughs> an interesting spot. Uh, they're going to Dynamax, which I'm okay with. Um, Incineroar is technically slower than the Heatran, but um, at least I have a guaranteed fast Scald and a plus one. So, this should hurt a lot. And plus I have plus one Fiery Wrath, so I think... I think my opponent just created a situation where Diggersby comes in to clean up. The Max Flare is fine. I'm still going to keep Finny in and uh, go for Scald. Um, Finny is fast. And even with the power reduction off of um, Sun into my Scald, at least... At least Finny has got some speed and it's got a plus one special attack. And here he is, or technically she, there's B. The rabbit is here, finally. Now I'd be very disappointed if my opponent just straight up forfeits and I don't even get to see Diggersby attack. Or if they straight up KO Diggersby, um, that would be a problem. But uh, they're down to about 30% of their health. And in Theory Diggersby should let this. I don't know, it's sun boosted, so. The question is, is if Finny can live long enough to. Um, uh, it's sun boosted, so I don't know. Diggersby's stats are weird because it is technically a, an early game rodent. So. The only thing that it's got going for it is it's. Oh, you know what? Diggersby's faster than Heatran. That's right. I forgot about that. I think. Actually, Diggers might, might technically have lower speed, so... Anyways, doesn't matter. We got the Max Quake. And Diggers B landed a crit, but, uh... Huge power Diggers B, probably not something to be concerned about in that range. Um, yeah, that was interesting. Uh, good game to my opponent. Uh, Diggers B. It fired one shot, but uh, that's all it needed. 
Hey, thank you so much for watching this uh, video. Uh, this team has definitely been a little bit more of a joke. Uh, I thought it was going to be a lot better than it actually was, but we uh, we had some interesting battles. We had um, a lot of matches that I did have to uh, kind of practice with, and unfortunately, uh, some of them while I was in the middle of filming were complete massacres, which is why my rating is jumped all over the place. But uh, anyways, I digress. It was a fun team to use, to say the least. I got my eyes opened on a lot of things. Um, yeah, I think definitely going to have to incorporate a steel type if I'm going to try this again. But uh, I digress. Uh, it was fun to use. I liked trying out Tangela. Tangela actually impressed me more than I was expecting it to. Um, and same with Electivire. In that first match that we had, uh, Electivire definitely put in work. It sucks that we did lose, but uh, I'm pretty happy about it, all things considered, considering that it went a lot closer than it actually did. Um, so, I'm going to regret saying it. If you guys want to use the team, um, let's say maybe, I don't know, Let's get some comments down down there saying you want to use it. Maybe a co combination of some likes. Um, if you guys want to try it, sure. I'll play ball. Uh, on another note too, for sure, I do have a rental code for my Kingler team. And I do have a code for my Regice team. Uh, I showed the Kingler code in the channel update that I put out uh, a week from uh, this past Tuesday. And uh, in the Escavalier video, I do show the uh, rental code for the Reg Ice team at the very beginning. And there's also a rental code for the Reg Ice team in the description of the actual Reg Ice video. So if you wanna use those teams, by all means, have some fun with those. And if you wanna use this Diggersby, Diggersby team potentially, by all means, let me know. If you really want it, I will make the code. Uh, that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that I carried out my campaign to entertain. I will see you guys next time.